know it's Miss D Gordon representing. Hello and welcome back to my channel. I'm Donisha Gordon and this is DG Makes Math Easy, where we are intentional about making math new dimensional. Today, we are going to focus on a very fundamental topic. We're going to be focusing on fractions and we will be working a few CSEC questions. Please remember to like and share with your friends. And if you haven't subscribed, please do. If you have already subscribed, then you can go ahead and click the notification bell so that you will not miss a video. Also, feel free to leave in the comments which topics you would like to see being reviewed. Please keep an eye on the left side of your screen as there will be some pointers as we work our questions. Now, usually the question reads something like this. Using a calculator or otherwise, find the exact value of two and two fifths minus one and one third plus three and a half. And maybe many of you, like my students, are very much afraid of fractions. I'm not sure why, but today I'm going to show you one of the most effective ways how you can go about doing these questions. All right, here we go. One of the first things you want to do when you're presented with a fraction question like this is to change all mixed numbers to improper fractions. And I hope you already know how to do that. If not, I hope that the revision here on the left of your screen will help you out a bit. Two and two fifths can be rewritten as 12 over five. One and one third as four over three, plus three and a half, seven over two. At this point, what you are going to do is try to find the LCM for five, three, and two for all our denominators. So the LCM for five, three, and two is 30. What are we going to do with that 30? We're going to ensure that all these denominators become 30. We're now going to do something to each of them to turn those denominators into 30. And let me just extend that thought to say that we are going to be creating equivalent fractions for each of these fractions with a denominator of 30. All right, so here we go. How do I turn a five into a 30? Using multiplication, that's going to be times six. And if I say I'm creating an equivalent fraction, then it means I'm also multiplying my numerator by six. I'm gonna do the same for four thirds and seven halves. How do I turn three into a 30? I multiply by 10. I have to do the same to my numerator. How do I turn two into 30 times 15 times 15? Now I'm gonna rewrite these fractions as the newly formed equivalent fractions. 12 times six will be 72 over 30 minus 40 over 30 plus 105 over 30. Now our life is a bit or a lot easier because we now have the same denominators, the same denominator. So the only thing we now need to work on is our numerator. 72 minus 40, that will give you 32 plus 105, which will give you 137 over 30. And you can leave your answer like that. Taking a look at this next question, we must ensure that we understand what the question is saying before we attempt to work it. So we should interpret this as one and four fifths minus one third, all of that being divided by two and two fifths, which means that we can also rewrite our question to look like this. One and four fifths minus one third, all of that is being divided by two and two fifths. And since all of it is being divided by two and two fifths, it means that I need to put this in a bracket to show that whatever answer I get here, that is what I'm going to be dividing by two and two fifths. So we rewrite this for two reasons. One, because I need space. And two, you find that a lot of times students totally forget that there was something here to work on. And so they keep on working on the numerator and totally ignore what's here. And so when you rewrite it like this, you cannot say you just forgot that it is there. All right, so here we go. We are now going to work on this section. And as the problem is presented here, just think of order of operations, how you need to work out first your brackets before you move on to any, um, any operation, any other operation. All right, here we go. So remember we mentioned earlier that one of the smartest things that you can do is to change your mixed numbers to improper fractions. So here we go. 
One and four fifths can be rewritten as nine over five. Two and two fifths can be rewritten as 12 over five. And just like we did for the question before, I'm subtracting. And once I'm working with addition or subtraction of fractions, I need to find my LCM for both denominators. The LCM of five and three is 15. And we know that only applies to the subtraction part here. Remember, whatever answer we get here is going to be divided by 12 over five. So we do not touch that 12 over five for now until we are done working this bracket. So we need to turn five into a 15. I do that by multiplying by three. I am creating an equivalent fraction. And so I need to also multiply my numerator by three. To turn three into a 15, I'm gonna multiply by five. I do the same to my numerator. So my new fractions here are gonna be 27 over 15 minus five over 15. And I keep it in my bracket until I'm through working it out. So 27 minus five is gonna leave us with 22 divided by 15. And that is going to be divided by 12 over five. Dividing by 12 over 5 is the same as multiplying by its reciprocal, which is 5 over 12. And now I'm going to simplify. And if I'm multiplying two fractions, then I need to ask myself, what common factors can I use to reduce numerators and denominators? So I pick a pair of numerator and denominator, in this case 5 and 15. Let's think of 5 and 15. And what's the highest factor of both? And that's going to be five. Five into five goes one time. Five into 15, three times. We need a common factor that can go into both 12 and 22. And that's going to be two. Two into 12 goes six times. And two into 22 goes 11 times. So this gives me 11 over 18. And that's your final answer. For our next question, as you can see, there's an answer on the board. And that's because you are going to be doing this one. All right, so it's pretty much like the one that we just did. And so if you run into any problems, if you do not arrive at the correct answer, then you might want to review the rules a bit and do not stop trying until you arrive at that answer, all right? All right, if you got that right, then you should have no issue getting this one correct as well. So race me to the finish line if you wish. Here we go. All right, so as I said before, we can rewrite this and I'm going to rewrite it for space purposes. Of course, I must also put this in a bracket because the answer I get here must be divided by the answer I get for this section. In these two brackets, we have one operation being subtraction and one being multiplication. So let's focus. And when we're done, we should operate on those two answers using division. Here we go, take it one step at a time. First thing we are doing is changing out all mixed numbers to improper fractions. So this is three halves minus two fifths divided by five fourths 22. All right, you can choose to work on this one until you're finished and then you move on to this until you're finished. All right, so here we go. We want to find the LCM of two and five and that's going to be 10. And so we try to make both denominators 10 and create equivalent fractions. All right, two times five will give 10. Do the same to the numerator. Five times two will give 10. Do the same for the numerator. So this is now 15 over 10 minus four over 10. All right, and you can choose to start working on this side um, in the meantime. But you can also just focus, as I said before, just finish working this section. 15 minus 4 is going to be 11 over 10. And that is going to be divided by whatever answer I get on this side. Numerator and denominator that has a common factor in this case would be 4 and 22. We can use 2 to reduce both of them. 2 into 4 goes 2 times. 2 into 22, 11. 11 times 3, that's 33 over 10. And so we're dividing by that answer. As established earlier, dividing by a fraction is the same as multiplying by its reciprocal. And so here we go. We can use 10 to reduce both 10 and 10. 
All right, and 11, to reduce 11 and 33, 11 into itself, 1, 11 into 33, 3. And so we have for our answer, 1 third. All right, I hope that you were finished before I was. And we will move now to our final question. All right, in a sense, we have two operations. We have a mixed number here being squared, and then we have to divide that answer by another mixed number. So let's begin. The rules don't change. Let's change our mixed numbers to improper fractions. So this is 7 over 4, and that is being squared, divided by 7 over 2. We are going to square 7 over 4, and this is the same as 7 squared over 4 squared. All right? Let me just write that out. So 7 squared is 49. 4 squared is 16, and dividing by a fraction is you know, times 2 over 7. Now let's reduce. 2 into 2 goes 1 time. 2 into 16, 8 times. 7 into itself, 1 time. 7 into 49, 7 times. And so we now have our answer to be 7 over 8. Okay, guys, I really hope that this was helpful and that if you were not a fraction lover before, you might have a better appreciation of it now and a better understanding. All right, see you in our next video where we will be simplifying algebraic fractions. Nothing to fear as it is the same procedure. That's it for this video. Please remember to click that notification bell so that you do not miss a video. I'm Donisha Gordon and this is DG Makes Math Easy.